All right. So you wanted to come and out to hole 13. Action. All right. You got it. No, no, this is your video. Oh, it's, but do you want to talk? Eventually. Okay. So! What is good, everyone? Eric Oakley of Infinite Discs. We're here for another Is That Good series. I have Calvin Heinberg and his friend. Oh, not anymore. Not anymore. Uh, we are going to be testing out the Halo Destroyer. This is yep. the 2022 run. So talk to us about this disc. Like, I, I think I've I've seen you throw a Destroyer better than most, and I've seen you both backhand and forehand it. So talk about this run. What makes it so good? Um, yeah, this year's Destroyers, um, they actually kind of have like a variance in the stability depending on the colors and kind of how stiff the plastic are. I've been digging the more overstable ones, which have tended to be the softer plastics, and that is the ones with the white rim and the chartreuse rims. So I've been throwing those, but the uh, black rims seem to have the most high speed turn, and then the, and, but also like the most dome and the stiffest plastic, and then the blue rims are a little bit flatter, also a stiffer plastic, and probably a little bit more stable than the black rims. But I've really been digging these slightly more stable ones. Um, I tend to like to have overstable destroyers that I can cycle down through my bag so they slowly beat up and nice. become my turning. So you're getting a lot of use like from one, it like might start out as the beefy boy, yep. but then it becomes the flippy dog. Yep. Like, like by sure. the end of the year, that's that's yeah. a really, really nice thing to have in a disc that ages like fine wine, yep. in my opinion. Like I think that gives you more confidence the more you throw it. Um, yeah, so, you know, we're out here at Jonesboro. I feel like this is the perfect mm -hmm. course. Like we'll go, so we're gonna go throw some shots with these um, uh, out there. And I feel like this is a perfect place to showcase this. What, what I feel like, I've seen with you in a destroyer, it's like you're not only throwing, you know, hyzers with these, like you're throwing some force overs, you're throwing some of those flat screaming shots. Mm -hmm. um, this run fits that pretty accurately for you? Yeah, I mean, these guys currently are pretty overstable. I have one that's been in the bag a little longer than the other. So this guy has like maybe a, it, it will turn a little bit if I throw it, you know, with a smidge of hyzer really hard, but the nice. other one's pretty overstable. Felt like these came out to your liking, you know, as, as the destroyers go? Yeah, I mean, they came out pretty good. I think it's kind of cool that there's a variance in stability. Um, kind of makes it a little more throwable for more people depending on your arm speed. Totally. Um, but yeah, I think it's uh, pretty cool. I can go to the box and grab like one that's pretty overstable and I can also grab one that's kind of understable if that's something I need. That's great, that's great. Yeah. Well, let's, let's go see how these fly. Um, we got this big open field. You mm -hmm. can just absolutely send it. So right, talk about how you're gonna release it and what you expect from the flight. Um, well, I guess I'll start with the one that's been in my bag a little longer. I'll, uh, I don't know, what are we trying to do here? I don't know, do you just want I mean, me to just like, show send the it on high turn or do you want me to just like, throw a lower shot? Calvin, you're going to show us why this disc is good. I need to, I, we're just trying to answer okay, that question. Okay, well, I'll just, I'll just throw this guy with a little bit of hyzer. I hope it'll stand up, maybe turn a smidge. Actually, it'll turn a little. I'm going to make it turn a little and then it'll, it'll fade back at the end. That's so much control. Okay, that turned a lot. Rip! What a smash though. Well, like, it showed that it had integrity. Like if you would have gotten up a little bit higher. Yeah, it was just too low for really the That type flight. of shot. But, this one's uh, a little more stable though? Yeah, this is newer. Um, pretty sure it's more stable. So we'll okay. uh, give it a go. Probably, yeah. probably a little similar line. And uh, we'll see how it flies. Big distance. Okay, that one's way more stable. Wow. But it's not, it's not fighting to the ground as much as I was expecting. Nope. And like, that was like that slow stand up. That was like, I mean, yeah, kind of what you want in, in, in a destroyer. So, yeah. All right. So how should I throw these? Um, you're going to want to probably, those guys are brand new. So you're going to want to put them on a little bit of turn. Okay. If you want them to go anywhere, cause they're going to want to fight to the ground. All right. Quick. Yeah. All right. We'll start with the chartreuse one. I'm definitely going to try and push this forward, get a little bit of like flex shot. I'm trying to think. You know, back when I was throwing PD2s yeah. and or enforcers, that, that type of line. Not like where I'd throw an Emperor, where I'd be like smoothing it on a hyzer, maybe maybe close to flat mm -hmm. and playing the turn, where this yeah. one I kind of need to force the turn. Yeah. Whoa. You know, I mean, it was slightly nose up, but wow, that fought out a lot faster. 
than yeah. I was expecting. That is useful. Like I could see myself now thinking, all right, this is going to be reliable into a headwind mm -hmm. for me. Are yeah. you using for headwinds or? Um, haven't really had to throw them too much in the wind yet, so okay. I don't know. We're going to see how they handle the wind, but I assume so. I hope so. Yeah. Well, let's let's keep ripping them. Let's keep trying to showcase how much. If they have that much beef for me, I feel like if you can find one that's even a little beefier, it'll be really, really nice. Dude, that one fought out immediately. Yeah, you need to throw super that one. overstable. You need to throw that one. Yeah. I got another one here. I think this one I've thrown a little as well. Okay. It's uh, profile is a little different. I don't, do you want to try it? This one will probably glide a little more. Let me try it. Yeah. Because I felt like I looked that like a one, noodle. <laughs> yeah, that, that one right there, um, it has a little more dome on it. And um, it's just, it's not going to be, it's not going to dump out quite as quick. And it should push a little more forward. That one, that one, if you put on a little bit of turn, it will definitely hold it for a while. Sweet. Oh, that's so nice. Yep. Wow. That's out there, folks. All right. Yeah. All right. I think if I would have hit the the chartreuse one, I could have gotten a little bit closer to that flight. Maybe. Maybe. I still think that one's a little more overstable. Yeah. That guy was kind of an outlier when I was feeling him. Um, had a little bit of higher dome on it. Yeah, and it was like crazy. The party line was a little well, I, I want to see you throw that mutant one. And then, yeah. uh, what do we think? Some forehands? Yeah. That's what I think I need this shot for a little for bit sure. more. Let's do it. All right, let's do it. So, first impressions, uh, I threw a couple that were very overstable. You know, I accept my arm speed is not to the same level that Calvin's is, but you saw what happened when I got one that was a little bit more tailored for my speed, a little bit seasoned in that Calvin had, and I was able to really just trust it on an Anheuser, and it got a lot of forward finish. So, as he said, these are going to age super, super well. But, you know, one thing we didn't get to talk about is, I actually, like, the stamp is really, really cool. Um, yeah. So, what was the design behind it? And, uh, I mean, are you loving it? Like, I think it's I think it's one of the best we've seen in a long time. Yeah, I mean, I really like it. We've kind of had, like, a space theme the past few years on my uh, Tour Series Destroyer. So, mm -hmm. we kind of stuck with that. Nice. Um, it's got, it's nice it's kind of on the same theme we got some of the same easter eggs we got the astronauts on the bmx bike and this year we have a little alien and a little galaga guy but yeah i mean I, I really like it um i think it works out really well in the halo plastic some of them have like these crazy swirls and it kind of works well with the little yeah. galaxy theme going on in there so. absolutely so this is the really overstable one i want to see calvin just kind of rip into this because this one oh uh, that, that one hurt my feelings and i think that that's again it's a great disc to have. It's not something that you're going to go out and you're going to throw your max distance with, but no. when the conditions get crazy, you're going to want this disc at the ready. So, yep. show us how it's done, my friend. Well, we'll see. We'll see what this big boom boom me look like. Big boom boom. <laughs> Dude, it with a good amount of turn, and it fought out pretty quick. So, yeah, Dang. that was yeah. crazy. That was crazy. Well, but yeah. All right, so I think you said we we're gonna do some forehands as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. I want to hit one. I want to hit this guy because this one felt pretty overstable, and yeah. I really want to see that work. All right, I'm see Chan Man out there. I'm gonna. Should I go? Should I go flat or should I go forced over? I think you should probably force it over. We do have a little bit of wind in the face, but I yeah. think it has plenty of stability to fight out. So I would say Sweet. force it over some and let it work out. Gotcha. All right, you can do that. Yeah. Yeah, that was still slightly nose up, but God, that is useful. Yeah, it's pretty overstable. Yeah. I'm gonna start with uh, my more beat up one. That's, Sweet. That's my best chance of getting it to go anywhere. Yeah. Um, but yeah, still gonna be forcing over this guy too, I believe. So. Love it. Heavy fade. It really does. Yeah. So like, uh, I know you've used I've seen you use your your 2020, mm -hmm. your 2021, and your 2022 destroyers in your bag, like at any any time. Like I'm bagging your 2021s yeah. as my main destroyers, but I'm definitely going to be putting an overstable one to complement those um, because yeah. I think I get a little bit more distance out of it. So, um, is there any like if, if with these are you going are these going to just immediately take a spot of one of those, or are these just kind of filling in their own slot? Um, I'm kind of running out of the 2021s. I, um, 
So I think hopefully they're going to kind of fill in for that. Uh, need something to kind of go into the overstable slot. Yeah, um, that, white one, that white one will yeah, do it. <laughs> that one will do it. Um, I really love the 2020 still for my distance shots and my shots that I want to turn at the end there. The swirly star run, a little softer plastic, higher dome. They just they glide and push much farther than the past two years. Totally, um, totally. But uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like these are going to probably take the spots of the 2021s just because of the availability to them to me is uh, it's gonna be easier, easier to find this than totally. it is last year's so um i expect to be throwing probably a handful of these by the end of the year nice so i'm gonna hit one more sidearm but this yeah. is the distance one that yeah, i threw that one earlier has a little bit higher dome so i, I feel like i'm gonna should, you can probably hit that one flat and it'll, it'll probably turn for you all right all right so we'll go flat i like that that's yeah. super sweet like yeah. okay so I have emperors mm -hmm. that if I throw like that, it's like a lot more drift. Yeah. And then the fade is a little bit more forward. Yeah. But that for me, and my, again, my arm speed, I feel like when I'm hitting that, I'm hitting a similar line that I was with an emperor. Yeah. But then I'm getting this extra fade. So if I need to get around a corner or avoid OB, yeah. like this is going to fit that perfectly. Yep. And then this is the newer one for me, so. Beef dog, let's I'm go, dude. So, hey, you said you were a sidearm guy now. So I gotta force it over. That doesn't mean <laughs> hey. sidearm guys don't shank and flex, okay? Hey, I but believe in you. That's what we're doing now. <laughs> I tried, I failed. Mentioned coming out to hole 13, and why is that? What do you think I'm gonna be doing here? Uh, I think Eric's gonna be throwing a flex forehand through the left side gap kind of opened up through the past couple years so opened up for forehand players but I'm going to try to take the tr traditional backhand gap skip it up there and nice see how it plays out so I think one part about the destroyer uh that uh that I'm liking so far is its over stability and with this left side I think if I push it over like really force it over and allow the disc to work it right that's what's going to pull me inside the circle and give me that look um I think that the, the glide on this is also really good for the backhand shot and then and the stability on these are awesome i think uh you mentioned in the field that the different colors can change the stability so are you going to go more stable for this shot yeah i think the ones in my bag are all relatively boys. more overstable um the white and chartreuse rims tend to be the most overstable the blue rims and the black rims tend to be a little straighter to slightly understable sweet all right show us that right. backhand let's go I think we're clear? Yeah, I think so. All right. Good. It's gotta be it, right? I don't know, we'll find out. Yeah, all right, should I go yellow or white first? I think yellow first. I okay. think you're probably gonna have a better time uh, throwing yellow. It seemed to be like not Less quite stable. as overstable. Yeah. So with like going uphill, and yeah. you're gonna want to push that like super far. Mm -hmm. well, this is this is full this is full rip for sure. Oh, oh no, caught a twig. All right, that's all right. All right, all right. Let's see. You want your sidearm guy? So I'm the forehand guy now. Oh, just like that. Oh, oh I caught a twig too. It's gonna be fine though, it's an easy three. Maybe a putt. We're out here to get birdies, Eric. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna, I'm gonna hit that yellow one again. So I'm definitely, this one I know is more overstable, so I'm really gonna push this out there. That might be really good. Could be short. I think it might be short. But right. I don't know, we'll yeah. find out. We're gonna try that yellow one again. Okay. Find the yellow one again. Take two. Just gonna really not hit anything. It should be good. Turns out when you hit stuff, it's not good. The disc is still really good. So it's on me. I hit stuff again. You didn't turn it like the other one. But dang it. Oh, we're just cutting that one. Cut! Say more words. Yeah. Right, so what do you think? What do I, what do I need to do here to get this shot? Uh, the way it shapes up, you just need to hit it on a little bit of turn through the gap. 
so it pushes out to the left hand side and has some time to fade back. We got a little bit of a crosswind helping, so just make sure not to keep it, get it too low or else the wind will kind of slam it down. All right, I'm doing it. We got this right here. That's money. Gotta be. Might be a little right. I mean, right of the pin, but I think fighting. Sweet. Okay. We hit the gap. Let's go. So after hitting the gap, I was able to give myself a circle, circle's edge look. I know that if I beat that destroyer up, I'm going to be able to really push to get myself inside the circle. This is a tough hole. So even just having a circle's edge look feels really, really good. I'm not in the woods. I'm able to get my chance at a birdie. Let's go. So we're out here on hole 16. Take two. Take two. <laughs> hole 16, attackable par five. I think this is a perfect hole to showcase you know, Calvin's arm and how these destroyers really like to fly. He's gonna be able to rip into these just about as hard as he can. I mean, and on a good rip, you're you're challenging that kind of past that big tree in the middle into that yep. landing zone for eagle, right? Yep. Yeah, I think both both ways, uh, either if you just get left of it and short of it, you can attack for eagle, or if you get past it, you can most definitely. Nice. So I got a stable one and one that's a little less stable, but they're both pretty stable for me. So I'm going to really try and force this one over to get a full flexing flight to put it in the middle. And this one I'm just going to drive as forward as I can. But Calvin's going to show us the way. First one I'm going to play a little, a little shorter and lefter, and then the next one I'll full send. Full send it. Let's see it. Clean. Oh, dang. Four! Kill people with that yeah. All right, I got the overstable dog. See how she flies for me. Dude, that thing is so stable. I know, I don't think any of my other ones are that overstable. That's really good, like for a wind fighter, it's really nice. If you find, as Calvin talked about, if you find some of the white ones or the chartreuse, the bright yellow ones, some of them have a party line that's a little bit higher and they are very overstable, and that's a really great destroyer to have. All right, let's, try let's go big boom boom. I don't know, dude. It's getting forward push. It's high enough. I think it's at the end of that tree. It's not a bad spot. Yep, right wow, right into it. Could yeah. roll out to a really good spot. Yeah, it should be fine. Nice. All right, We're driving this one forward. That one's flying over stable too. Those are punking on me. Yeah, dude. I didn't, get a, I didn't get my best releases, so I think I threw it better in the field. But I'm noticing, like for this shot, I'd want one of those seasoned in to really get that extra flip up and play for me. So destroyers, they're good. Yeah. All right, so I was wildly impressed. This disc uh, is exactly what I was looking for in the, like, all right, let's call pd2 type stability right like if mm -hmm. you find the right one you have that i think the other cool part uh like you mentioned you have the black ones that have more high speed turn but still have some decent low speed yeah. fade the blue ones are really nice kind of like straight shooters yeah and then the whites and yellows are just kind of their own they're yeah. in their own realm which is really sure. really fun to see yeah definitely more overstable um Probably gonna get a little more use out of me. If I do bag a different color than these two, it'll yeah. probably be the blue rim, just cause I would say they're the most similar to the 2020. Do you think that blue rim will fit your forehand a little bit better? Like as a, as a sidearm? Yeah, I could are? definitely forehand that better. Even the flippier black ones would forehand better. Yeah. Um, just not quite, I, I just don't see it making my bag. I think I have other things that I will have more use forehand and backhand Sweet. than that other one. That makes sense, that makes sense. So yeah i definitely guys check these out they're going to be you're going to see you'll see them at flight factory on innova factory store yep um check them out there plus there's going to be plenty of retailers who are going to have these you get to support an amazing person like calvin heinberg by doing this um yeah and what's what's new for you this year anything you want to chat about uh there is a new disc that you do have coming out are you excited about it Yep, yeah, the, the Toro um, is something I've been working on with, with Dave for a while. They just released the uh, 
CFR release of them. Sweet. So I know some people already have some in their hands. I hope they're enjoying them. But uh, we should see some uh, tour series and production runs coming out, you know, later this year. So cool, man. Really awesome. And yeah. I, I couldn't think of anybody who did that, like, you deserve it completely. So really awesome. Thanks for being here. Thanks for showing off how good the Destroyer can be. Turns out it's really good. Yep. I, 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 I knew the answer going in. I'm bagging some of your last year's, so it was very simple. But uh, yeah, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, tune in for more action, follow Calvin in his journey, support all the things he's doing. Um, it's, yeah, it's, it's really fun watching you get out there and crush it. And I know there's going to be great things coming in the future. So yeah, thanks everyone. Be awesome.